if I didn't pay $3,000 by a certain time, members of my family would be murdered. That was the gist of an ominous email Dan Masters found in his mailbox recently. There are words meant to get your attention, and they certainly got mine. Especially when it went on to say things like, you do not know who we are, but we've been tracking you. We know your schedules. We know where you all live and spend your time. They're strong words. They're frightening words. At first, Masters, an attorney, was baffled as to who would send such a threatening note, but then he took a closer look at the email. It didn't name me, didn't name any family members. It had a date that had already passed. They are all part of what we call extortion scams, trying to get some money from you from a perceived threat. Bradley Godshall is a special agent with the FBI. He says the so-called hitman scam is not as lucrative as lottery or sweepstakes scams, but over the last year, people have fallen for it to the tune of millions of dollars. The extortion at scams were just a little over $10 million. It's 4,000 times easier today than when I did it. You may remember Frank Abagnale, the former con artist who inspired the movie Catch Me If You Can, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. Welcome to Miami Mutual Bank. How may I help you? I'd like to cash this check here. He says we're actually partly to blame for the proliferation of these scams in recent years. We go on social media such as Facebook. We tell people our name. We tell people when we were born, our husband's names. They have so much information, and that's part of the reason we have all these social scams. He's now teamed up with AARP to help fight this fraud. Nobody's going to come after you. There is no hip man. Before you act or send anybody money, make sure that you have, uh, you know, know about what's going on around you because that's what they count on. Joe Jackalone, a retired sergeant with the NYPD, says it only takes a minute to debunk one of these scams. The FBI has a website with all this information on it. The Federal Trade Commission has information, and even your local police department. Experts say some of the hitman emails have included personal information about the target. They recommend not responding to these emails, as that only shows your account is active, which means you can expect more intimidation attempts. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. It makes you just want to use snail mail. Yeah, it does. Just go, ditch go all back this to stuff. How we originally did it, right? It's simpler, right?